For story time today, we have a story about Jonah and a big fish. So it's a fishy tale. But first, let me call up Dave to help me with the story. Computer, call Dave. Hello. You're right, how am you? I'm good, thanks. And you, Dave? Oh. Are you ready for the story? Yes. It's a good one. It's a fishy tale. <laughs> a fish's tail. A fish. A fishy tail. It's called. It's about the tail of a fish. <laughs> and it was about um, a guy called Jonah and a big fish. So Jonah. What was the big fish called? Um, we didn't have a name. I don't think. No. What's I had we... a fish called Nigel. Nigel. That's an interesting name for a fish. He was good fun him. What sort of fish did you have? It's one that swam. <laughs> what in a little tank? Oh. Oh, sweet. Well, oh, that's Nigel. That's cool. I don't know what this fish is called, but you've got Jonah who um, listens to God and God gave him instructions to go to a place called Nineveh and tell the people there that they needed to stop being naughty. Where's Otherwise, Nineveh? N Nineveh. I'm not sure, to be honest. It's somewhere. <laughs> is it in Wales? No. <laughs> I should check these things out, shouldn't I, really? But anyway, he not was very told... prepared. <laughs> He was told to go to this place, like, but he didn't want to go. And so he went in the opposite direction. Can you believe that? He went oh. in completely the opposite direction. In fact, he got on a boat and, and just went away. Well, that makes sense, there. that does. Why, why does that make sense? Well, if you don't want to go, you go the opposite <laughs> you go way. The opposite, you do, don't you? You got a ticket, got on a boat. Not and complicated. Went in the opposite direction. Um, and on this boat... Was it like an Uber, but water? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. He hailed a boat. Um, anyway, he was asleep. In was the... it raining? I don't. Well, listen, With because the hail. actually, yeah, a storm happened. He was in the boat fast asleep, and suddenly there was this massive storm. It was so bad that the sailors were really worried that that you know that the boat was going to break up. And Is they were that just... why he had to hail a boat? <laughs> hail a boat. Oh, hail. <laughs> Yeah. Hail of, oh, I see, rain. I see. Well, there was a storm, there was lots of rain and all that. Uh, and so they woke him up and says, hey, you know, help us. We, you know, we, we, can you pray to your God because we, we're in trouble here? And he went, oh, no, I know what's happened. This is my fault. Um, I, I've been disobedient. I didn't do what God told me to do. So don't worry, just chuck me overboard. You believe it? Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah. Can we circle back to is that it? one? <laughs> no. He says, just chuck me overboard. Did he get a life raft? Well, the sailors thought, oh, I don't fancy doing that. So they were chucking other stuff over, but it wasn't working. The storm wouldn't wouldn't stop. And and Dan, um, not Daniel, is it? It's uh, Jonah, isn't it? That's a different story. Jonah. <laughs> and he says, no, what you've got to do is you've got to chuck me in the, in the water and the storm will stop. Did he fancy a swim? <laughs> no. <laughs> he just knew that he was at fault and he needed to, to stop the storm. Fair enough. So um, they did as they said, all oh, crumbs, you know, right, we'll do this because you said so. And they chucked him in the water and the storm stopped. Was he like walking the plank? No, he just, well, I don't know. They just chucked him in. Um, I don't enough. know if they had planks. They weren't pirates, so they didn't have planks. <laughs> so they chucked him in, but it was all right because God rescued him because a big fish swallowed Jonah whole, didn't eat him and kept him inside his tummy. How cool is that? But it... <laughs> Have a think about that while we have a break. It creates a few questions, I'll be it honest. <laughs> Let's have a break. And we're back. And I have a few questions. What's that, Dave? Well, they lobbed Jonah yeah. into the water. Yeah. But did they fancy a swim? <laughs> no, he didn't. And a big fish ate him, like yeah. a shark. Well, or a whale, possibly, yeah, really big Did fish. it, like, you know... Heard. Well, um, he wasn't very happy being inside a whale, as you can imagine. And would you imagine it'd be quite smelly, wouldn't it? Be stinky, like like very fishy, smelly, and, and my Nigel's and tank got a bit stinky sometimes. Is what my Nigel? <laughs> oh yeah, Nigel, your fish. His tank got stinky. Yeah, we imagine that like lots more smellier than that because it's a big fish and he's in the water. I'd rather all the time. not. <laughs> you know. So I don't think he was happy being in there, um, and he was there you, for. You, 
Well, you she... don't think he was happy? I don't. <laughs> yes. No, we, I know he wasn't because he basically. He was like a genius, eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> but he did cry out to God to get him out. I mean, the, at, the, at the end of the day, he got saved by the fish because if he'd have been chucked in the water, he would have drowned, wouldn't he? But God rescued him by he, being swallowed by a fish. So in fairness, it was a better option, wasn't it? But not I a suppose. pleasant one. Um, but then he did cry out to God to, to let him out, to save him. And so after three days being in this big fish, um, God um, uh, made the fish spit him out. And so he was all right. It was fine. I've got some more questions. Yeah, go on then. So he gets lobbed in the water. Yeah. And it sorts out the storm. Yeah. And then he gets in a fish. Yeah. That stinks. Yeah. And then the, you, you know, like Spat chucks up. him up. Sp- <laughs> yeah, spat him out. It's a gross story, this one, Aid. <laughs> well, I mean, he got cleaned up and everything. And you know what he did? Was he... there a shower on the beach? Well, I, yeah, probably, because I don't know if it was still raining. You'd want um, a bath, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think he got himself cleaned up and basically did exactly what God asked him to do. He went to that place to tell them um, that they needed to change their ways. So he did go when there When he in was the end. crying to God, do you reckon he wailed? Oh, no. <laughs> he might have done, yeah. Cried out, yes, to God. The jokes get better and better, <laughs> do they? So he got back on a boat in the right direction, not the opposite direction, went and told these people, if you don't get your act together, uh, God's going to, like, wipe this place out. And they listened. They were like, right, OK, that's it then. We're changing our ways. I'm a bit worried about this story now. No. But they no, they listened. They took they took heed of God's warning. It must have uh, been a dog friendly place. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was. <laughs> and so it was good job that Jonah came and told them in the end what they needed to do, uh, and all was well then. All's well that ends well. Don't you think? Still a bit bothered about that fish. <laughs> I think he needs a name. Can we call him Nigel? Nigel, do you think? Nigel the big fish. Yeah, okay, we'll call him Nigel. Well, what did you think of that story then? Smelly. It was a smelly story. I told you it was a fishy tale. Bit of an health and safety warning, (laughs) jumping in the water. It's a true story, though. It really happened. I mean, it's quite amazing, isn't it? Oh. Can't believe it, really. I don't think it would have been little finding Nemo fish, though, would it? (laughs) Wouldn't be big enough. No, because Jonah would be a bit big, too big to go into Nemo, wouldn't he? Oh. Yeah. No, big fish Nigel uh, swallowed up Jonah, spat him back out, and he did what he was supposed to do. Might change my fish. He's named to big fish Nigel. <laughs> big He's good fish. fun, him. <laughs> you still got Nigel? Oh, well. Oh, you have to send me a photo of him. Oh, he's a bit camera shy, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm not so good at cleaning it. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, thank you, Dave, for joining me for the fishy tale. You're very welcome. See you next time, yeah? Oh. Goodbye. To Robbie Beat. <laughs> and that was story time. <laughs> <laughs>